Good morning. Today is still Friday, March the 8th, 2024. Yeah, let me make sure. March 8th, yeah. March 8th, 2024. And uh, I made a video the other day talking about everybody's broke, right? How, you know, most people in America don't have a thousand dollars in the bank for emergency fund and so forth and so on, right? Well, there's an even bigger problem going on. Not just are the American people broke, but the country is broke. The United States is broke. I will tell y'all about we ain't gonna have Social Security pretty soon. So, I got this clip I wanna play for y'all, and then I'm gonna come back and talk about it. Where our Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville, Tommy Tuberville they're having a hearing about the very exact thing I'm talking about. So y'all hold on. I'm gonna let y'all listen to this clip and then we'll come back and chop it up on the other side. Hold on, y'all. This is all a scam. I mean, we got people that's getting ready to retire that's gonna try to live off two to $3,000. Impossible. It's impossible. Because what happens, it comes up here, we spend it. With 35 trillion in debt, we don't have any money. We're dead broke. And then taxpayers have two trillion dollars in credit card debt. We are in huge trouble. In this body, we had better start figuring that out because we're going to have a run on this city here soon, and there's going to be about 150 million people coming up here saying, "Where's our damn money that we paid in?" I could have put my Social Security money, 40 years, in tax in in, in the market, and probably be worth eight to ten million a day. But the federal government wasted it. So I'll get off my horse there. But it's good that we have this because we got, you know, I get a little pension check from education. I, I was part of a union. Uh, it's not going to help people. People are going to have to work, continue to work longer and longer. Am I right, Mr. Jenner? Can you say something about Social Security and, and it being taxed for some reason? We're taxing people for the second time on Social Security that they put into, into an account. Yeah, and I'd like to point out when Social Security was first founded, um, those who established it, it was started out as a 2% tax, and they said this will never take more than 6% of your income. Today it takes 12.4%, and depending on whether you go with CBO or Social Security trustees, it needs to take between 15.8 and 17.5%. So we're talking about thousands of dollars more per year. Um, it also was actually only originally recommended that it, the tax be up to $66,000, equivalent in today's dollars of earnings. Um, but over time, it has expanded massively, and the money has been spent every year. So whereas everybody thinks this money's been set aside for me, no. For the past 13 years, every dollar that has gone out of workers' paychecks has gone immediately to pay promised benefits. And that's what happens when you have a system that enables those in charge of it to spend the money in the immediate term and leave the buck to the next generation that's coming along. And because Social Security has grown so much, it's actually to the detriment of lower income workers in particular who have to pay such a large share of their tax, their pay check to Social Security, they have little left to save for retirement. And then lower income and African American workers have the lowest life expectancies. So they are the least, most likely to get nothing back in return. One out of four African American men will die between the ages of 45 and 64 after having paid into this system for decades, tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they get, might get nothing back. What's the solution? I think we ultimately have to shift towards a universal benefit system. That's what true social insurance is. It does not make sense that we are paying the biggest benefits to the highest income earners. So gradually over time, I think we need to bend down the benefits for the middle and upper income earners, actually increase them for the lower income earners. Look at things like indexing life exp retirement and age to life expectancy, more accurate inflation index. And I think that workers need an option to have their money in something that actually earns a positive rate of return and that can't just immediately be spent by Congress. I have a 28 and 29 year old, two boys, got a job working hard, paying Social Security. They ask me all the time, Dad, will I ever see any of that money? Will they see it? I think they will see some of it. That's the exact same thing I hear whenever I ask a group of younger workers and none of them raises their hands. So I think that there will be something there, um, but it's not. Okay, we're in trouble. That's why I always tell y'all to get your money up. 
Get your money up. Don't depend on the government for nothing. Social security, welfare, food stamp, none of that. After a while, all that stuff gonna be gone. They blowing the money. It don't matter if it's Democrat or Republican. They're all wasting our money. Get off that party train. I'm a Republican, I'm a Democrat, I'm a conservative, I'm a liberal. They all playing us. We're left holding the buck, looking crazy. Down here arguing amongst each other about what party you belong to. I'm a proud Democrat. I'm a proud Republican. No matter what party is in office, I want y'all to pay attention to something now. Long as I've been living, we've had Democrats and Republicans run the country. It's never been just one party. We've had a, both of them throughout the year. Republican president, Democrat president, Republican Congress, Republican Senate, Democrat Congress, Democrat Senate, a mixture, one had to lead, one did. We've had it all. Same result. That's why I say I'm independent. The Democrat and Republican game is like the wrestling. Y'all remember the wrestling back in the day? Well, wrestling still come on watching them. It's too fake now. That's the same thing with our government. They ain't never the wrestling. They get on TV, wrestle against each other, the bad guy, good guy. We sit around going for our team, our man, our hero, our favorite wrestler. The Democrat or the Republican. Yeah. Go, go, get him, pin him down. We really think they're going against each other in our best interest. You Democrat, loyal Democrats, think the Democrats are fighting for you. You loyal Republicans think the Republicans are fighting for you. You're a guy. You're a wrestler. Lex Luger, Hulk Hogan, The Rock. You name them. Same thing. And what I mean by that is, when the cameras are off, when they are work, they somewhere having a beer, playing golf together. That Democrat and that Republican that act like they hate each other on TV, when the cameras are off, they somewhere smoking cigars, counting their money, taking their families on vacations and trips, enjoying free health care. All of them. The Republicans that were against Obamacare, the Republicans that were against universal health care for all, they got universal health care for themselves. And y'all fell for it. And continue to fall for it. Them people are robbing us blind. No politician can be trusted, Democrat or Republican. I ain't thinking about none of them. I, it's, it's a wrap for me. I just played that clip of a Republican senator who's supposed to be for the rich, putting us up on game. A Republican senator that the Democrats hate, letting us know, telling us the truth. We've been robbed. It's a scam. What are the Democrats at saying that? My point is it don't matter what party. We all getting screwed. But you can believe your, your guys for you all you want to. I'm just telling you the truth. There you have it. Not only are the American people broke, the United States is broke. Our great country is broke. They blown our money, our retirement, our pensions, blown it. And we can't do nothing about it. So all I'm telling y'all to do, get your own money up, prepare to survive, and take care of your own family on your own. Help is not coming. The cavalry is not on the way. Get it? Got it? Good.